Okay, so I have finished. I've got three set up of the 400 watt 20 amp um, wind turbines. They're, uh, they're working at 12 volt and like this morning I was quite happy that, that uh, like I went to bed and the voltage was getting low on my battery bank and by the morning when I got out of bed it was not fully charged, but it was close to charged, you know, first thing in the morning before the sun had even come up over the horizon. So, not that the sun's even come up today. It's been uh, very cloudy and overcast all day, which is why I think everyone should have a, uh, a wind turbine or two as part of their off-grid homesteading um, power supply. Um, you know, I've, I've had definitely had problems you know, getting things set up and one of those I'll just talk about real quickly now sorry if the camera all right um, possibly the first problem and it does not worry me at all because I get plenty of wind but they do say you should spend as much on your tower as you do on your wind turbine and so anyway I did not spend much on my tower this is just recycled two inch galvanized pipe and um, I've got no guy wires because I do not want guy wires uh, there's nothing worse than having you know, strings of wire I mean I'll do it I've got a big turbine I'm, I'm setting up now and I'll do it if I have to but uh, for these little ones I don't want guy wires so I've just mounted them onto my, uh, this is my junk room. Just got all old bits of wire and whatever else that I've recycled over the years. And um, anyway, I've got both the turbines mounted to that and both the charge controllers. You might not be able to see that, I can't see that. Anyway, um, yeah, both got both wind turbine charge controllers mounted right there for the ones that are mounted on here and that's the amp meter watt meter for the wind turbine so I can get an idea of what they're actually producing and I did see I mean, according to the specs it was 20 amps but today we've definitely had some decent gusts today and it was I've seen 15 amps, which I'm quite happy with. That's, that's a lot of energy you know, for a little solar system. And excuse my mess. This is all thrown together from recycled materials. And you can agree or disagree on what I've done here. But one thing, and this is what I, another thing I had a problem with, is you need to have a very solid wire going from your turbines to your battery bank. I've got, I would say, at least a hundred feet of distance between where these turbines are mounted to where my battery bank is. And what that means is, at times, before I, I've upgraded the wire now, but when I had the thinner wire, it would actually, the turbines would be just tripping out all the time, saying, oh, voltage is up. And that's because of, you know, electrical voltage drop in the line. So I've fitted up some heavy wires, uh, this one's copper, which is my main line, and I've got a double, I'm not sure if you can see that, yeah, you can see that. I've got a double insulated through a section of water pipe, so it's going to be dug into the ground. And um, now my earth wire, although I did have a thin, and this is where most of my voltage loss was coming from, this thin copper wire here was my original uh, main um, negative line, earth line and um, it was causing the turbines to trip out. I think they were, I think the batteries were charged and then they, they would just, they would break themselves. So I, I wasn't getting as much of the energy from the wind as what I should have done. Anyway, so today I fitted up this uh, heavy duty, it's a probably half an inch in diameter, um, maybe 10 centimeters, sorry, 10 millimeters. And, um, Unfortunately, it's made from aluminium, so I didn't try soldering it. I just clamped it on 
and uh, hopefully that's going to be a, a pretty decent earth to out there. And at the moment, it does seem to be working really well. So, um, yeah. So that's about it. And I've, like I said, these guys have been going like crazy all day. I'm not sure what it looks like on the screen, but they're actually spinning quite quickly. But uh, just looking at the screen of the phone camera here. It just looks weird, but that's still pretty cool. So, yep, that's the 400 watt, 20 amp, 12 volt.